This is the Vega trim. And the thing I want to say about it first is that it could possibly make the guitar sound stronger. Um, generally, two pole bridges steal a little bit of tone. You do have to compensate for a loss of tone in comparison to a six screw bridge. And, and I find with most two screw bridges, two pole bridges, there is a, 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 an absence of girth and robustness that you have to compensate for by turning up your gain or your amp or whatever. And it's all doable and solvable. But this thing, I believe, actually makes the guitar sound thicker. Um, I noticed it from the moment I started playing on it. Uh, so there's a weight to it uh, and a balance that is kind of unexpected. Now, during that demonstration, you saw me do one thing that I want to call your attention to. This vibrato arm has kind of two positions. If you just tighten softly, and I did it while I was playing, if you just tighten this screw softly, it'll sit right there, available. And if you'd prefer to have it out of the way, you just drop it simply by turning this a half turn, and then it's loose. It's really easy to do. <laughs> So if you go to the website or look at any of the YouTube videos, you can see that this is installed uh, with one tool and it's non-invasive. That means you can put it on a vintage Strat and nothing will change on the guitar. And that's really cool. Um, the other thing is it's small and it, I mean, aesthetically, it's one of the best looking bridges I've seen. One of the virtues of its size is that you can pull up. And I remember with my Floyd Rose, I still have one of these guitars. I wanted to be able to pull up, so I did a massive route. Uh, it's so sad to take that much out of your guitar, and it's kind of permanent. Um, so you don't have to do that to pull up. The other thing I noticed about this last night is you can do some pretty in-tune double stops when you pull up. So let's look at the back of this. The bridge feels very weighted and balanced. And I look at the back of this and I can't believe how small the mass is back there. Uh, the other thing is the two springs. It looks to me like it's going to be really easy to adjust. Sometimes I like to go from tens to nines. And of course, you have to adjust the springs in the back because the bridge sits differently because the tension is lighter. I think it's going to be really easy to do on this. I'll just hit those two springs, make sure the bridge is perpendicular, and I'll be good to go. One other thing I discovered is that because of the size of it, the aesthetics of this thing, and it's, it's like I said, it feels much more weighted than uh, I would expect. It's easy for me to set my palm here. It's very comfortable. And that helps with one little thing. Anytime you have a floating bridge and you pull a string and, and hold a string at the same time, it goes flat. You know, it's just natural. You're pulling up so the thing dips down. Well, this bridge allows you to just kind of hold your palm there and keep everything true. <laughs> Easiest thing in the world. Or when you're doing this. All you have to do is set your palm down and you can keep the bridge true while you do double pulls. Lastly, I'll say about the feel of it. It feels weighted, balanced, with just the right amount of pushback. But it's also very solid when you're just near it or, or just barely touching it. And that way, it never kind of, it's very easy to use, but it's stable at the same time. So if I rest my hand here, nothing happens. So it's really, really, trustworthy and then when I start to use it it's just the right amount of smooth action and it always comes back to the same place I've been using it a lot for the last couple of weeks and it always 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 comes back right to the same place totally in tune